has finally spoken from detention makes new decision and warning South East residents. See what he said. The leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Namdi Kano, has issued a warning to the people of the South East to be careful, stating that the security agents are watching and planning to invade into their community is want them to be careful and be vigilant. He said the plan of the federal government is to come into their community, divide the community, cause confusion, break into the com community and dissolve the agitation group. You must be careful and be watchful. Yes, this is their plan. I may be in detention, but I know what I am doing. I chose to speak or speak through my lawyer because he is the only person that can reach you. Be watchful because nothing, I repeat, nothing can be hidden under the sun. You are having and experiencing different misunderstanding within you because of the plan of these people. You may not see it, but I am seeing it right on here. The torture I am receiving, I am receiving it because of you and no other person. And I will keep receiving it until they realize that Piafan freedom is for real and will be granted. Namikano spoke with tears, pleading to the IPOC members to remain resolute, strong and moving. I have chosen the path of submissiveness and I will submit to the latter no matter what Namikano says. Oh, my dear viewers, my dear viewers, my dear viewers, hope you can see, hope you can hear, I'm so touched by this. If you are not touched by this message from Mazen and the Kano, then you are a saddest. Then you are a saddest. It is only a saddest that will listen to this message of Mazen and the Kano and say that he or she is not touched. Look at this. It's just two lines. Just two lines. Uh, is what touched me most in Nandi Kano's message. The torture I am receiving in detention is because of you. One. Two. Nandi Kano spoke in tears. Oh. Pleading to the eye pops to remain resolute. My dear eye pop members, you know, I always tell people this, and I know why I am saying it and using that statement. I am not a Biafran. Yes, but you, anybody that hear me broadcasting on um, Biafran matters and the way I am analyzing it, we say that this guy is a Biafran. Well, that is left to you. I am not a Biafra. I am not an Igbo. And I am not uh, uh, an Ipo. But I choose to support the group. Why? Because of their mission and their vision. I'm telling you, those who are against them, they can, those who are always against them, are now returning. Because they have seen that this guy is fighting for a just cause, a genuine cause, a true cause. They've seen it. That is why they are they are coming back. You that is not in support of this group, you are blind. You are completely blind. Because you cannot open your eyes and see what the people are going through and say that the government are right. For God, for crying out loud, the Piafras are in slavery. And who, who are the people in, 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 in causing this? The government of Nigeria. 
So it is because of this slavery that they have said no, that they want to go. Please, let them go. Let them go. They have tried. They have tried. They have suffered enough. They have suffered enough. Enough is enough. You, you, you will collect on to disperse. You will disperse and you will not give a cover. A cover to them. The last, the last time we were collected the loan, that was 2019. We disbursed the loan and didn't give a dime to the southeast. Why? Because, uh, according to the uh, to, to to one minister, uh, a female minister by name Farouk, Mrs. Farouk, she said that uh, that uh, the, yes, that a cover will not be given to IPO because they are they, they are agitating for Biafran freedom. Okay, since you didn't give them, since you never gave them anything, didn't they leave? Did they leave? Even if you don't give them a cover, they will still remain the richest in Nigeria. Since Nigeria has, uh, has, has gained independence, um, uh, uh, an evil man has not mounted the seats of leadership yet, yet they still remain the richest people in Nigeria. It is the Igbos that are making the Nigerian economy to experience a boost. Take the Igbos away and you see how this country will fall flat. This country will fall flat completely. There will be nothing in this country. The Igbos are the one boosting the economy of this country. They determine the GDP of this country. That the GDP of this country is positively sloped to the demand curve is because of the Igbos. The Igbos are the highest employees in Nigeria. The highest employees in Nigeria. They increase the level of employment. Take the Igbos away and you see how ugly this country will look like. That is why everybody is saying that please, the Igbos must not go. Even Bwari himself is afraid. He's afraid. He's afraid. But whether he likes it or not, Igbos are going. Nobody is going to stop them. Nobody. I only blame our our, our, our blind leaders, the, the evil leaders, people who are supposed to stand by him and the canoe. Instead of them standing by him, they are following the Fulani leader. Eh? Can you imagine? Eh? That is personal selfishness, wickedness to the highest order. I can't subscribe to this shit. Is too embarrassing. Yes, don't you know? Yes, no. It's too embarrassing. These people are wicked. Absolutely wicked. Absolutely wicked.